Throughout Aruba's history, a number of projects had been initiated by the government under the guise of Aruba's development. But according to analysis of our main control institutes, the Central Accountant Service CAD, and the General Controller ARA, many things went wrong in practically all the projects. The Procurement Act was violated, the process not properly supervised, the financial limits were not maintained, there was no adequate control, and many other oversights. Our main controlling entities, the ARA, and also the Truth Commission, with the ex-director of the CAD and the ex-secretary of the advisory board, have expressed serious doubts regarding the questionable projects. It is apparent why successive governments or successive political parties have done everything possible to keep the control of these types of authorities as minimal as possible. For many years, questionable projects were never investigated, only in the case of Proyecto Desarrollo Novo San Nicolás, which was duly investigated, were there several contractors and a minister sentenced for corruption. The prime minister, at that time was acquitted, but only due to the disarray the financial administration of Aruba was in at the time. Therefore, the judge could not find adequate proof of his crime. In most cases, the government started projects without funds even being available. They had to lend money from banks or dip into the pension fund each time. All of this, coupled with yearly budget failures, led to such an extremely high debt and interest payments that we are now left paying for the next 20 years. And there is no money left for proper maintenance, much less to invest in new projects. In other words, Aruba's development has been stalled for the time being. But that's not all. The constant startup of new projects has led the government to neglect the maintenance of previous or existing projects. The consequence? In our harsh climate, buildings and products deteriorate rapidly, and this seemed like a good reason to introduce another new project and replace the old one. Thus, it seems that the choice was made deliberately not to invest in maintenance in order to create the opportunity to start new projects. Of course, costing Aruba a lot of money unnecessarily. Instead of, for example, a 60 million florin project lasting 40 years, which is a 1.5 million florin per year in cost, maintenance is omitted so that the project will only last 20 years, therefore costing 3 million florins a year, thereby diverting money from other necessary policies while requiring a new loan for its replacement. Now, the big question is, why have successive governments pursued human resource policies based on political patronage inadequate financial management and questionable projects that have severely gone against the public interest of Aruba. 